Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome to Let's Play Trick and Treat. Now I know Halloween is over, but I wanted to finish this game fully. Um, with these kind of RPG games, there's usually multiple endings. So it turns out that I went to this part that says extra and it explains how you can get the other two endings of the game. I will show you the extra part at the end. Um, there's really not, not much to it. It's just a interesting little, um, you know, helpful little guide thing. So let's continue on. Um, hmm. If I say continue, it will, yeah, it will pick up. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So it picks up from when we're here, uh, which is pretty handy considering what I'm gonna have to do in order to get the ending that I want to get right now. So let's, uh... Oh, they expect you to look here first, I forgot. So, Lonely Prince... Uh, we're gonna say leave. But how can I get out? I should check around while well, I still can. Well, we already know what's down here. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> it's pretty interesting. Another secret door. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, if we just walk around for a bit, I think maybe that'll tire her out, or do I have to select a bunch of stuff? There's nothing uh, special about this room. It's pretty interesting. Okay. I think this game is pretty cute. It's kind of strange. Um, but I, I like it. I'm glad I decided to play it. Just to give it a shot. <laughs> so what I'm going to do next, if you remember, is going to be uh, her... <laughs> uh, Charlotte is going to con uh, confront these guys. Yes, yes. Miss Charlotte is something else. <laughs> I give me back my Amelia! Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do for the the next ending we're gonna get is that instead of um, making it in time, I was kind of curious what would happen if uh, the timer ran out. So that's what we're gonna do, actually. So I was like, oh, okay. That's a simple way to get an ending. What happens if she doesn't reach it in time, or whatever? Uh, okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna wander around, actually. Uh, and oh, I could actually save so that from here... Uh... Well, just in case, I'll put it here. That, uh, for the next ending we can just pick up from this area. I'm just gonna look around since we never even got a chance to do that. Oh, I guess we can't really. <laughs> what is the point of this area if we were never supposed to really- There's no time for this! I have to find Amelia! Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Sorry. I'm gonna be evil. There's no time for this! I have to find Amelia! Okay, well, we'll pretend to look. Just let me see what it's like. Such an annoying house. I'm going the wrong way on purpose, of course. Interesting. It really is uh, quite a big, uh, big house, <laughs> big frickin' mansion. See, I'm here. Oh, I could actually come in here. Sweet. Interesting. Miniature balloon. Ah, the doll's not here. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that she's like right outside of where she needs to be. <laughs> um, the final room. Ah, they're all staying still. Oh, never mind. You almost made it, Charlotte. Almost. Oh, so the timer ran out. Now what happens? 
Okay. I thought it would be immediate, but I have to still come in here. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Another ending. <clears throat> Amelia! Where is Amelia? Uh-oh. And why is his guy gone? What did you say? Amelia's not here? He didn't say anything. It's strange. We thought someone had been here. This is the final room of the game. One has to wait for us here before leaving. John is checking other rooms. You took a long time getting here. I... I've already looked everywhere, but... Mm, is it because of your puzzles? What if your stupid magic tricks went wrong? No way. Even if there was a problem, it would be you. You ignored all the rules and hints, just running around and breaking everything. Uh, you are blaming me? Yes, I am. If you ever cared about her, you wouldn't have left her behind in the first place. Burn! <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, he's savage. I mean, he's right, but oh, wow. <laughs> you only care about yourself, don't you? Let me guess. Amelia's your only friend? Some poor girl controlled by your spells? Just because you have power, you play terrible tricks on humans, treating them like toys. Now, he has every right to be uh, annoyed with witches because of what happened to him, so you can kind of understand why he's acting the way he's acting. Witches are the worst creatures. How dare you! You hurt my Amelia! I hated this house from the beginning, and I hated you. You know, there aren't many witches and monsters in this world now, and most of us are acquaintances. However, I don't know you. Huh. I think it's no big deal if I misbehave a little today. Oh? Sometimes I really hate... Wait, what? Something about being a hero. I did not read that. <laughs> Bad end? Go home alone? Wait, what did she do? I am so sorry I missed whatever she said. Uh... I was too busy freaking out over the music. <laughs> Bad end, go home alone. Okay, so I'm glad we got that ending. That that was kind of creepy at the end. Um, She did something to him or what? Did they have a fight to the death? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, hold shift to fast forward. I'm holding shift. Game clear two times. Okay. This is interesting. Um, I don't know, that ending... I really wish I'd read the whole thing that she said something about being a hero. But okay. Thanks for playing. Okie doke. Oh, there's more? This is us going home alone. What the heck happened to the castle? Uh, did she ch completely destroy the whole castle? That means Amelia's dead now. She was in there. You guys just didn't find her. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> this is actually a really sad ending. Um, oh wait, I just remember where I had to start from. <laughs> so I do have to start from... Question mark. I have to start from here, actually. From her again. Um, so what's gonna happen here... Um... So this time we're going to say stay. So, this is the whole story. A cursed prince? It's just like something in a fairy tale. In this house, it was just a party that they wanted. But how can I get out? Hmm. She said stay. I mean, she said yes, but she still wants to get out. I think I can push it away. Now we'll go down. It's kind of weird um, that she said yes and yet she's still looking for a way out. <laughs> Going down, yes. Okay. Nothing else different? Guess not. Uh, I guess we'll just click on a few things. There we go. 
Okay. But that that's so weird, that other ending. <laughs> I'm still like, what? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Alright, so it's this part again. He seems like such a nice guy, actually. You kind of feel sorry for him. But man, the end. <laughs> I mean, it's true, Miss Charlotte is kind of a witch. <laughs> I mean, with the bee, you know? Yes, yes. Get to the end part, please. <laughs> that little hop she did is pretty cute, actually. So we know how to get there. Okay. There you are. Oh, was he there before? I don't remember that. Have you found her? She is not there. What? What? <laughs> See? I'm like, wait, what? There is no one inside. John is checking other rooms. Don't worry. We'll find her. Uh, okay. Sure. I'm gonna go inside, because I know where she's at. But I think I should check it myself. You said that one couldn't get out after entering the final room, right? Amelia probably fell asleep in a corner or something. She's actually right about that. <laughs> okay, I'll be looking for her downstairs then. Alright, we'll find her. We know where she's at. You guys just don't... Apparent they don't know that other room is down there? That's what it seems like. Oh, I can't control her. Okay. No one is here, as he said. Is Amelia really in this room? Why, yes, she is. She's here. <laughs> Can't believe the two guys couldn't find that. A secret door! Okay, you go, girl. <laughs> I'm not controlling her, so... I knew it! Amelia! You always fall asleep in weird places. Oh, she just moved the pumpkin like, <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> That's adorable. I was worried. Oh, she healed her. Cool. Wake up, Amelia. Do you remember your name? Do you still remember me? Why wouldn't she? Miss Charlotte. Miss Charlotte, you came here to find me. Thank you. I thought I could never see you again. Wow, you remember everything. I'm so happy. Aw, that's cute. That looks really cute. They're like the bestest of friends here. That's adorable. <laughs> you do this a lot. Falling asleep in a corner and waking up without a clue. But you're all right now. <laughs> cute. Tee -hee. That's adorable. Aw. It's great. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. So she's just gonna follow us. Alright. Ah. Okay. Should I just leave? Guess so. <laughs> oh. Thank you for coming to my party, which obviously wasn't very popular. I was really looking forward to it. Thank goodness everything is fine. Okay, I'm not complaining for the candy Amelia collected. By the way, you guys use too much ketchup. The whole place smells like tomatoes. It's terrible. It's a mess. Miss Charlotte, please don't be so picky on food. It's not good for your health. You sound like my grandma. Same goes for Mr. Vampire. Uh, I have no choice because I was cursed. 
His appearance was turned into a vampire, but his appetite just turned to tomatoes. Oh, that explains that. <laughs> so he only eats tomatoes. Okay, that's kind of messed up, poor guy. Isn't that called a vegetarian? Uh, <laughs> what? With all this ketchup and paint, I thought... He's like, oh gosh. Uh, I feel sorry for him. I said I was cursed. What were you? Hmm. Sure, I noticed the magic in the house. Miss Charlotte, you are a real witch, aren't you? Yes, I am. Ah, uh, there aren't many witches and monsters in the world now. And most of us are acquaintances. Who cursed you? Maybe I can help. But if it was a long time ago... Miss Charlotte is still young. <laughs> Yet yeah, I'm wise. Well, it was just 70 years ago. Huh? It was like in the story, more or less. I was a prince, young and immature, and somehow didn't have much luck in my love life. Therefore, a countess said she would introduce me to, uh, to a young lady. Um... But the girl didn't come. She didn't like me at all. Someone just loved the prince, while some would not even meet me because of the title. Aw, poor guy. Seeing me disappointed, the countess said she could help me. I accepted, yet I never dreamed she was a witch. Then, she turned me like this! Why would she do that? I think that's really mean. <laughs> Saying something like, You will eventually meet the ones that truly understand you, someday. Ah, so it's not even about love, it's about meeting people who understand him. Maybe us? Who wants to understand a monster? Thanks to her, even the false friends were gone. Ah, uh, sweat drop. <laughs> Seventy years has passed. You were the first guests that visited me. Hmm. Miss Charlotte, are you alright? You don't look well. Uh, um, actually, I have a grandmother. She likes playing tricks on humans, especially young men. No, it's your grandmother who did that to him? Oh, come on. Huh. Uh-oh. What is it, Grandma? I'm guessing she was younger there, so... <laughs> Lottie, here you are, my sweet girl. Would you like to have a date tomorrow? Sorry? What? Why? There is a prince holding a ball. No! Just like it in the sto- Wait, just like in the story. Lottie, you'll love it. No! And the prince is a very nice young man. No! I don't want a date! Don't be shy, sweetie. It's a beautiful thing, the feelings you have, especially when you are still so young. I'm only 16! Don't treat me like a human girl, please! You know my age is different from them! Ah, oh, but this lovely rudeness and arrogance, you are just like those teenagers. That's true. Give me a break, Grandma! I said I didn't want a date! Ugh. Oh, I'll attend it myself, then. Don't be sorry if you miss anything fun. Um, really? <laughs> Awkward. Well, this happened, um, just 70 years ago. You just said you were young. You are not young. What? The second day, I asked Grandma how the ball was. She told me the prince was a little... blue. It was gorgeous, and everyone had a great time. Except the prince, because you didn't want to meet him. 
I didn't promise anything. I didn't even know him. It's all Grandma's fault. True. So I tried to cheer him up. You know, I think I helped. No, I really don't think you did, honey. You tried to help humans again? I guess it was another silly trick. Ah, the title makes sense now. Not only because of the Halloween, but trick and treat. Yeah, I get it now. Oh, don't make fun of your grandma. Well, it was nothing. All I did was make him love tomatoes. That's not all you did. You made him look like a freaking vampire. <laughs> She's crazy. This is messed up. We're all like, what the hell? Excuse me? <laughs> He's crying, poor guy. <laughs> oh, this is funny. True end. They finally met. All these years later. Ooh, I got an achievement. Truth. Oh, this is different. Yay. Well, this was a cute game. Um, I think there's still some more candy and stuff. And they, I actually, I'm curious because there was all that stuff in the dungeon I wasn't able to do. So I'm gonna have to keep playing this game on and off on my own. Oh, that looks cute. Wait, is she carrying her? What? <laughs> Whatever. Interesting. When I first saw the four characters, I I don't know what I thought, but I, I didn't think it would be like this. <laughs> Alright, so we got the true end, and uh, hopefully she helped to cure the poor guy. Alright, let me show you guys the extra part just really quick. Uh, it really isn't anything much. Just cute. Oh, they changed it. Never mind. These people were not here. I came in last time, and they were not here. Yeah, so I was just... Uh, if I came here... Just keep music. Uh, you could change the background music. Uh, these ones were spooky. Um, and then this was locked. Yeah, still locked. Okay. And this was where... Um, it, it tells you about the different endings. So you could get the true end, normal end, or bad end. Um, and then, of course, there's dead ends or game over when, when you get killed or whatever, which uh, I only got killed twice. I believe there's more, though. There's more uh, bad or dead ends or whatever, but I haven't gotten them all. And I'm not going to bother getting them all. But I am curious about... Um, see, it explains what happens. Um, yeah. Okay, but I'm curious about that dungeon. I don't know. It's strange. Let me talk. Good evening. It's so nice to meet you again. Oh, she looks different. She looks cute. This must be her usual costume instead of the Halloween version. But she still has a pumpkin on her, um, her little tie thing there. Good evening, John. Maybe you two can get together. Be kind of cute. By the way, do you always wear that mask? Is it okay to take it off? Uh, yeah, I was wondering about that. He's still dressed up? Oh, that's why. This eye is damaged. But sure, it's fine to take it off. I was only wearing this for Halloween. Uh, I wanna see. Please take it off. <laughs> okay, since you said so. Oh, he looks normal. Oh, not really. You have a fake eye or something? That's fine, dude. No big deal. It looks weird, right? No, not at all. None of us are normal anyway. That's true. Hmm, what's your job as a butler? I think it's similar to yours. Housekeeping, cooking, and shopping. Richard, oh, that's his name? Richard can't go outside like that. Miss Charlotte hasn't allowed me to visit the town by myself. Maybe we can go shopping together next time. Oh, a little date? Oh, ho, ho, ho. sorry. That's a great idea. 
They're cute. I kind of ship them now. <laughs> you are here again. Welcome. It's so nice to have guests. Oh yeah, about the curse. Hey, we can talk. So, oh, I like this. Okay. Oh, uh, poor guy. Don't ask a witch for help. Marilyn gave me this house along with the curse. Oh, so that's the grandma's name. Maybe she did want to help, but... Is there a way to break the curse? If I can find true love and propose successfully, probably. I see. What about Miss Charlotte? What about me? What about John? <laughs> oh, thank you, game. Oh, this is hilarious. I'm sorry. I have to ask. What about John? You two are always together. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Oh, I love this game now just because of this. <laughs> no, I, I ship him and him and her together, so Yeah. <laughs> I like girls. I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> He's crying. He's like rejected. Oh my gosh. I like girls too. Oh, that's hilarious! I love this. Okay, hold on. Um, all right, let's talk. Oh, this is new. The ones looking for true love deserve happiness most. So did Miss Mrs. Marilyn say? Yes, she did. Actually, it has been so many years. Maybe I'll be living on the magic power of the curse. Which means, I'll die as a human when the true love is found. Oh, well, that's terrible. However, I believe the feelings would be more pure and precious. Don't you think so? Eternal loneliness or to end your life with true love? Which one would you choose? Um... Sorry, maybe this question is too difficult for you, Amelia. But... Wait! I wanted to ask again. I believe Mrs. Marilyn's words. Why do they keep having different... Okay. I'm sure you'll find your happiness. That's how it goes in the stories, isn't it? Thank you, Amelia. Oh, I can't ask about Charlotte. No! Okay, whatever. <laughs> about Richard. That's my name. You haven't forgotten it, have you? <laughs> He's so adorable when he cries. Aww. Who was Charlie? The name on the tombstone. It was my dog. Aww. He stayed with me even after I was changed. It was incredible. Maybe you haven't changed that much. Charlie could... <coughs> Excuse me. Choking on my saliva. <laughs> Charlie could tell. Okay, is there anything else to talk about? Uh, about yourself again? Oh, I thought something new would pop up. Ah, I guess that's it. Never mind. Okay, what if I say nothing? Oh, oh. Anything new with you? Oh, this is new too. <laughs> you seem to get used to this life now. You were not surprised at all to see a real witch. I can manage... Eh. Can't talk. I can manage the magic in this house, more or less, because of the power left in my eye. You don't hate Miss H Mrs. H Marilyn? I'm fine with it. I received an unnaturally long life because of Richard's curse. Even if I was treated as a monster or a murderer, I take it as an adventure. If Mrs. Marilyn was threatened by some hero, maybe I even would like to help her. Sounds like another game possibility. <laughs> you are so dependable, John. Anything else? Oh, this is new! What? So much storyline, I mean dialogue. Interesting. Because we barely get to talk to them throughout the game, so I guess that's why. Sorry, this is going to be a long video, guys. <clears throat> Where did you live before moving here? Dark and remote places that nobody wanted to be near. I'm not afraid of vampires. You're a brave girl, Amelia. 
Anything else? Okay, maybe we can go shopping together next time. Alright. Let's talk to Miss Charlotte. To be honest, I didn't expect you to solve all the puzzles. You are amazing, Amelia. About outfits, but which is about this place? Okay. This is my usual outfit. These ordinary clothes are also very lovely. Of course! Amelia looks good in the maid uniform, too! Miss Charlotte is pretty good at sewing. Thanks! You know, I love making things. So, here you are! <laughs> okay. To be honest... Oh, okay. About witches. Witches? We are rare now. Most of us have been defeated by human heroes. The ones left are... Well, rule followers. You see, I'm the human-loving type. My grandma likes humans, too. That's why she enjoys being a part of their society. It's a relief that she didn't cause any real trouble, like a war or something. He's like, what about me? <laughs> She's so rude. It's all thanks to Andrea. Go to the tea party with me next time. I want to... I want them to meet you so much. Who's Andrea? Sure. Okay. We visit here a lot recently. Hmm, it's not bad to have a neighbor, I guess. Can you break the curse, Miss Charlotte? Uh? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Mrs. Marilyn is your grandmother, isn't she? Huh. Mm. Yes? I'll ask Grandma when I see her the next time. Why did Miss Charlotte get angry suddenly? Ah, she assumed you meant like, ah, uh, her and him romantically. <laughs> okay, hold on. Anything new? No, the same. Yeah. Anything, anything else? Okay, never mind. So I guess we're done. Alright, so that's it for this game. Yes. Really cute game. Uh, really cute characters. I kind of wish um, we could have like a sequel. Like, it's not necessarily about Halloween. Or it's more about them. Breaking the curse or whatever. I don't know. I just find them interesting. I find it interesting. <laughs> Especially, oh, I love that moment about him and John. Actually, I have a... Let me see. If I go in, will it remember? Or will I be able to talk to him like afresh? Let's see. Okay. Yeah, okay, here we go. What about Miss Charlotte? See, I want to know what he has to say about that. Uh, I heard my name. He's like, uh oh. In fact, I'm thinking about holding a better party for Miss Charlotte. You like her! <laughs> oh boy. Do you think she will enjoy it this time? Uh, surely she will. We are all good friends now, aren't we? Interesting. Alright, I just wanted to know what would happen if we talked about Charlotte. Okay, cool. Actually, one more. I'm sorry. I just want to know what will happen if we say, what about me? Would John get jealous? <laughs> okay, about the curse. Oh, sorry. Oh, really? Amelia? Uh-oh, she's pissed. Hey, don't you ever consider my Amelia? Uh... I don't think Amelia knows the meaning of proposed. Oh, uh, poor guy. <laughs> so John didn't get jealous, but um, she did. Interesting. All right, so that's going to be it for this game, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. This was Trick and Treat. It's available on Steam. It's free, and it's pretty cute and short and fun. So if you want to play it, go ahead. Check it out. All right, um, until next time. Hope you have a nice day. Bye!